Jesse Gary from Channel 2 here in the Bay Area. Thank you so much for coming. I hope everybody, it, it was the food? Yes? Yeah? Okay. Great. No, no, now don't fall asleep now, now that you're all full. Come on now, we got a, we got a program to do. We want to thank you for coming and we want to pay tribute to some of the, the, the good companies. So we're going to start with our platinum sponsor, which is uh, NVIDIA. And uh, yeah, and for, thank you, thank you, and thank you for being a platinum sponsor. Thank you so much. And, and, and thank you for your work with, um, with children's gaming. Thank you for being a platinum sponsor. Uh, moving on to the gold sponsor, AI Tech. Where are you, AI Tech? Thank you so much for being a gold sponsor. And our bronze, uh, bronze sponsors, uh, Semi, Lockheed Martin, Lockheed Martin. <laughs> IEEE, right? CNSV, thank you. Hanover, thank you. Ozen, thank you. <laughs> Stellar, thank you. San Jose State, where are you? Spartans, Spartans, Spartan Strong. Thank you. Blue Ribbon, SJSU, the entire school. ASME, SAE International, MIT Han Lab. Thank you so much for, for, for all you. Thank you very much for everybody for, for coming and attending the program tonight. I just want to start off by uh, thanking everyone for attending and supporting us and welcoming everybody uh, to this event tonight. And I would like to mention that uh, this is our first in-person event after uh, our 2020 banquet. So we skipped 21 and 22, uh, and this is the first time we get together again in person. We wanted to have a grand event, so um, we wanted to have it in person. Um, I would like to, um, to thank everybody. Also, the, the, the schedule was very tight this year. We usually start the board in uh, July in summer, but we had to uh, start late in October, and then um, and the Hall of Fame process usually starts in September, so schedule was shifted and they finished the process in January. So still, we managed to finish everything in six weeks uh, from mid-January to keep the same schedule in the Engineers Week uh, in February. So I really uh, want to sincerely thank everybody, our sponsors and our board members to make it happen. I want to thank this, uh, our, our, all of our members. We have uh, 12 members across different engineering dis disciplines from IEEE, we have three groups, and ASME and SAE, and in um, um, SAMP and, and other engineering groups. We really appreciate them supporting us and, and sponsoring our program. For the corporate membership, we really appreciate all the support for all our corporate members. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ali Keshavarzi, I'm with Stanford. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tonight is a really special night. Uh, as we have uh, gathered here to pay tribute uh, to the, contribution of, the contributions of Dr. Bill Ali to the field of computing, I have the great uh, honor and the pleasure to welcome our, uh, uh, and to introduce and welcome uh, the distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Kang Shen uh, from Stanford. Kang will take us uh, to a fascinating uh, journey uh, beyond atoms and bits of computing that we are familiar with. Hello, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> uh, don't be so serious. Keep drinking. <laughs> uh, so um, I want to thank Ali for the very generous introduction. And uh, it's my great pleasure and honor to uh, deliver this speech here. Um, when I asked Ali uh, what kind of talk uh, we're expecting, and he said it's an after-dinner talk. So he, using his own words, keep it light and entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> so that is absolutely a tall order. So let's see. Okay. So as Ali said, I've been a professor in the Department of Biology uh, for over 20 years. Um, and my laboratory studies how genetic information help to wire the cells in the brain, okay? And then that is one, my one hat. And, but tonight, I will be mostly wearing the other hat, which is uh, that I'm the director of the Wusai Institute. But in the brain, we're dealing with questions such as how or is consciousness generated? 
Uh, how do, do we learn from experience? Where do our mem are our memories stored? These are questions, key questions in neuroscience that we just simply cannot be used by our chemistry to explain. Okay, so that's, un that's the unique aspect of, of neuroscience is that we're still very far from really understanding all of these very key questions. That's the first reason. And the second reason is that the brain is just in incredibly complicated. We have estimated 100 million neuron cells in our brain, and they're connected by on the order of 100 billion synapses. So these are, are, are incredibly astounding numbers that we need to dissect. That has been sort of the obstacle for understanding uh, uh, brain science and neuroscience. These are astounding numbers that just tells us that our brain will go, will deteriorate in an age-dependent manner. And then that is already a well-established fact. Sorry for the bad news. Um, but but why, why, is this, why is this the case? You might ask that question. There's several, of course we don't know all the answer to that, but there are several um, considerations, several factors that I think for sure will contribute to that. One is that the neurons do not regenerate, unlike our skin cells and like our muscle cells. You know, you go to the gym and you, you exercise your muscle, you break the muscle cells, they die, but their stem cells will they stimulate the stem cells to produce more muscle. That's how you get, you, you grow your muscle cells. You grow your, your, you get bigger, right? Evolution has selected us to be successful as a species up to the point we, our kids grow up to their teenage, they become independent. They don't want to listen to you anymore. They are on the phone all the time. Tell me about it. Um, but then our value in a greater sense of evolution and the biology has diminished. So it's effectively, we have a car that is designed to go 200,000 miles and now we're asking it to go 800,000 miles. So that is what we're, we're dealing with here. Thank you so much. Uh... Jesse, good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. I would like to thank the members of the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. I would like to thank the nominators of the Hall of Fame inductees. Dr. Daly is the recipient of the induction into the Hall of Fame. He is the chief scientist and senior vice president of research at NVIDIA for the past 14 years. Prior to that, he was at Stanford University for 12 years as a chair of the computer science department. Dr. Daly was also a professor at MIT for 11 years. Dr. Daly is a founder of several startups, Velo Communications, Stack, and Avicii Systems. Dr. Daly, you can read his bio in the book, and you're gonna hear from him shortly, is credited for his work in several areas, in particular, high-performance computers and network, signal processing and streaming, graphic processing units, computer system and network processor architecture, and his most recent activity, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Well, thank you. I really want my mom to see that video. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, 
I'm, I'm really honored um, to be in, inducted into the Silicon Valley Engineering Council Hall of Fame and to be in the company of such luminaries as Bill Hewlett and David Packard. Um, I'd like to thank a lot of people um, who were involved in this. As everybody knows, engineering is a team sport and nobody wins or loses on their own. Um, I, first of all, I'd like to thank Sharif and Fred and the leadership of the Silicon Valley Engineering Council for uh, recognizing me and for actually doing the whole um, Hall of Fame. I think it's a great start. with the Keeper of the Flame. And this award this year goes to Helen Arrington. Would you please come up and receive the award? The award goes to Larry uh, Winterlin. Winterlin. Lakshmi Warrior from Dirty Valley High School for her outstanding contribution.